Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about cholesterol. I want to give you the facts about cholesterol. Right now, there's a huge push to put everyone in cholesterol medication and to drive down the cholesterol way, 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 I think, is too low. A normal cholesterol is 200. That's the top level, 200. About 20 years ago, it used to be 225, so they keep lowering it down to 150. They're trying to get it down to 100. And even if it is normal, people stay in the medication because they think, well, just as a preventative thing, because they're concerned about cholesterol clogging the arteries. But let's just take a look at what cholesterol really, really is. Cholesterol is a precursor. It's a building block to all the sex hormones, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, um, cortisol. So when you cut this thing out or cut it down too far, you basically starve off your hormones, you start having problems with estrogen, progesterone, uh, testosterone, things like that. And that's why men that take uh, cholesterol-lowering medication, they end up with low T. Well, pff, you need cholesterol to build it up. The other thing that people don't realize is that sugar and refined carbohydrates, especially breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, waffles, pancakes, all convert into cholesterol. Um, yes, that's where it really comes from. So what we should be doing is adjusting that, not adjusting this. Cholesterol also acts as a band-aid, so it helps heal the arteries. The reason why it goes in the arteries in the first place is there's some type of inflammation or something that needs to be healed, and cholesterol comes in there and forms a little bit of a, a band-aid. Um, but guess what causes the inflammation? High insulin from the sugar people eat. Other fact is that 90% of the cholesterol is recycled. So if cholesterol was so bad, why does our body recycle it? It's get, it gets recycled through the gallbladder and the liver and even the intestines. So in the gallbladder, you have something called bile that helps to break down cholesterol. People that don't have a gallbladder or have a liver problem or don't have enough bile, their cholesterol will tend to build up and they can get a fatty liver. So what do we do? Try to lower the cholesterol? Why not just give the person some bile salts to help break down, to, to balance this cholesterol? They don't do that. All the cells on your body need cholesterol. The eye needs cholesterol. The retina needs cholesterol. These are some facts that you need to know um, to explain to your doctor and to know yourself before you start jumping on the, the medication because there's things that you can do naturally. I would start with eliminating the sugar and maybe even supporting the liver or getting some bile salts. And then if it comes back to normal, then why take the medication because there's a lot of side effects. So I just want to briefly cover the facts about cholesterol. I hope that helped and I'll see you in the next video.